The Children's Museum of the Lowcountry was founded in 2003 by local artist Ann Darby Parker to provide children with a safe place to learn and discover through hands-on experiences and activities. CML is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to spark imagination, stimulate curiosity, and encourage problem solving through the power of play in families from all backgrounds with young children. Play inspires creativity, thus encouraging lifelong exploration of the world around us. My name is McCown Bridges and I am the marketing coordinator at the Children's Museum of the Low Country and I have been with CML for about a year now. We have nine exhibits that are throughout the museum inside and outside including a little castle that's two stories. We have dress up like a princess or a dragon. We also have an art room where you can create anything from a village made of egg curtains to Rapunzel's hair made of yarn. We have a life-size pirate ship and we have Waterwise, which is very popular among our kids um, which you can even get wet inside. Our summer camps are offered every week during the summer with a different theme and you can register online or through our front desk and drop off your kids for a full day or half day all week. Um, we have about 2,200 visitors per week um, in CML with um, locals coming for camps, classes during the school year and just for fun, and during the tourist months we have plenty of tourists coming to explore the museum and try to So big for us right now are the Title I school partnerships that we have. We feel strongly that all children should be able to play and learn in our museum. So we partner with the Charleston Promise neighborhood, which is made up of Title I schools in our community, to ensure that all children are able to visit through field trips and things like that. Fam Jam is our biggest festival of the year. It's in April. It's in Marion Square, where we transform Marion Square into a giant playground and show kids that being active can be fun. We have families and kids of all ages come down to Marriott Square for free, and we have lots of our community partners join us to provide activities and active things for our kids to do from a live concert to karate, kung fu, and dance, and everything is free. Um, our next year, 2014, is April 26th, and we'd love to see everyone come out. Um, the Children's Museum is a nonprofit, so we raise money through private donations, and one of our biggest events of the year is the Gala that we have every year in the fall, and we raise money through the silent and live auction there, so we are looking forward to that. I think what keeps people coming back to the Children's Museum is our uh, everyday changes from free daily programs where we read a book and make a snack or a fun puppet or craft uh, to our um, camps that change themes every week when school's out uh, to our exhibits that change every summer we get a traveling exhibit so there's always something new and different going on at the Children's Museum and kids come here to play and I think we they are too busy playing sometimes to figure out that we're teaching them things too.